Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So today you guys, I'm going to show you how I created these memorial designs using Canva. If you like the video and you learned something new, make sure you give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, to begin this tutorial, we're going to start with the blank canvas in Canva. So here I am at the home screen of Canva.com, and we're going to go over here to create a design. And we're just going to go ahead with the U.S. Lighter document. Okay, so remember in the last tutorial, I gave you guys a brief overdue, overview of photos and elements. Basically, elements is kind of like clip art, and photos are like real life or are lifelike photos, okay? So for the purpose of this video, we're going to search sky. And these are all the options that we get. And then we can just pick which one that we really like. And so another thing you can do, say you see a picture, right? But it's not exactly what you want. You can hover over the picture and you see these dots right here. Click it and it'll t give you the keywords that were used in this picture. So you can um, type in some of these words to uh, try and get some similar pictures to it. So that's just another little um, trick for you guys. I'm going to type in um, Stairway to Heaven. This so seems to be like a popular memorial design. And I am using the Canva Pro version, so if you guys are trying to follow along, this may or may not be available to you, okay? So I like this one. So we're going to go ahead and click it, and then I'm going to right-click on my mouse and hit Set as Background. Then I'm going to go ahead to My Uploads. and insert the picture I want. Now, the key to this is having a good picture to begin with, okay? So I'm going to use this picture, and I had already erased the background prior to even uploading this. And this is my uncle. He was murdered two years ago. So unfortunately, I'll be using him as an example for this project. So, okay, so what I'm going to do first is like kind of scale him down because I want it to appear as if he's like sitting on, on the steps. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I have this In Loving Memory PNG. I'm just going to go ahead and add that. And I purchased that off Etsy. I'll leave the link in the description box if you guys want it to. So I'll put that, mm, let me see what it looks like down here. No, I like it on top. Okay, and then we can go back to photos or even elements. Let's try photos first and type in angel wings. Okay, so here are some options. So, okay, so here's another trick you guys can do. Let's see. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, you see these pi this picture? I like. I kind of like those wings, but I obviously don't want that back black background. So I will make sure that this picture is highlighted. I'm going to go up here to effects and I'm going to use the background remover. Okay. 
and Canva will take care of that black background for us so that we can just use the wings. Okay, so here are our wings. And of course, obviously, I don't want them in front of him like that, but let me go ahead and scale it down. I, I'm kind of using like his shoulders as my guide. Okay, so I make sure that my wings are highlighted and I'm going to click position and hit backward. All right, so the computer finally caught up. So, yeah, let me just position those things right there. And scoot this down a little bit. And honestly, there you have it. I mean, we can select this background. Um, let's go to filters. Let's just play around with some filters a little bit. Oh, definitely not that one. That one doesn't look too bad, but maybe because the wings start to blend in a little bit. Or, uh, I like that, that's really nice. So, you know, this is just something that you guys can create in Canva. I keep trying to tell y'all, Canva is the bomb. So let's take that away and, you know, because not everybody likes the clouds. So let me see. I have another picture of him, of him on a motorcycle. So I'm going to type in road. See if it comes up. I like that one. I like this one. Let's go with this one. So I selected it. I'm going to right click and hit set image background. Go ahead up here to my upload. Grab this photo of him. And Position that like that, Let's bring the wings down. Those look a little too big. No. Honestly, let's take these wings away and let's see or wings they have in um, elements, because remember elements is like clip art. Okay, so these are our options. I like the wings in photo better because they look a little bit more realistic. You know what, honestly, let me see. Let's see what this looks like. But honestly, we really don't have to put wings on everything, you know? Let me see. I like this halo. I'm going to use his shoulders as a guide, displacement for the wings. Go to position and let's hit backwards. Eh, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but I don't think I really care for the clip art wings. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, erase that. And I'm just, I would just leave it as is, honestly, unless you wanted to go back to photos and find. That doesn't need to be that big. And you guys see this pink line, all these, every time I move this, how you see the line. This one right down in the middle right there is letting me know that just that the design is centered. Okay. 
and then you know you can always go to text and add some text but just remember if you're doing sublimation you will need to flip this and you cannot flip written text in Canva only PNGs but there's always a workaround for everything okay you could easily, because Canva has an app that you can work on through your phone. So everything I do on a computer and save will automatically be in the app, which is another thing I love about Canva. And so whenever I need to flip something, I save. So you would do this, save it, and then you can open the app on on, on your phone and um, flip it. You know, save it to your phone, go to your, well, this is how it works on an iPhone. I'm not sure about Android, but I would save it to my photos. I could flip my photos on my iPhone, and then I can just print from my phone to my computer. Or I can go ahead and, um, I mean, print from my phone. I could print from my phone. I said, anyway, or I can go ahead and flip my photo and upload it back into Canva and then print from my computer. So whatever works, you know, there's always a workaround for everything. But um, I hope this got, um, helped you guys, hope you learned something new. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.